Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Ron and today we are diving into the Quicken, one of the most powerful personal financial tool out there. Whether you're looking to track your spending, create a budget or manage your investment, Quicken has got you covered. In this tutorial, I will walk you through everything you need to know how to get started with Quicken as a beginner. First thing first, let's set up Quicken. If you haven't already downloaded it, you can download from quicken.com. This is the official website. And on the top right side corner, you will see once you go to the sign in, here you will see a too many options. Because Quicken provide you with a lot of different softwares, or you can say Quicken Simplify, Quicken Business and Personal, Classic, Quicken Life Up, and investing.quicken.com. Now you just need one ID that is a Quicken ID. So just go and click on here, get started. Now, once I go and click on get started, it will ask me two options, whether for personal or whether for business. Right, so here I'm just going to go for personal. If you want to go for business, here it will charge you and it show you the pricing. For example, this is a quick in business and personal, right? And classic business and personal. Now choose the plan that works for you. So let's say I will select here personal. Now go to find your plan. Now here you can see this is a quick in simplify. It always know what you have left or spend or save, right? And here you can see it will charge you around three dollars. That is a monthly. And this is a quick in business that is a four dollars and this is a six dollar that is a classic right now quick and simplify is available on web pages as you can see here on the website as well as on your mobile the classic is available on windows and mac and it is in the two version choose a version the first one is a premiere it will give you this this features available here you can just pause this video and you can read it now in the deluxe it will give you this features right now you can go and choose up to whatever it's in your requirement now what's included in your every plan so these are the basic features which is in every plan now here if you scroll a little bit down more here it also compare the contrast and consider between the two different different products the first one is a quick and simplify and the second one is a classic premiere right now if you have chosen this classic one then you have to download this software now once you download it will automatically ask you to get started right so for example, if I just go and click on get started, it will ask me to choose the plan here. And once I choose the plan, now let's say I will just go and choose a quick and simplify here. Now, if you choose any another one, it's fine because this process is exactly the same. Now here you have to just enter your name, your last name and your email. Now, once you have entered all this detail, it will ask your credit card or PayPal ID just to pay you. It means this is five six dollars per month and it is charging you for annual price that is around 72 dollars right now once you enter your card number expiration date and cvv and zip code you will able to confirm the order now once you confirm the order automatically import your you know once you add your account and search for your bank because after that once you enter your online banking credentials and quicken will securely sync your account this step is crucial because it allow quicken to automatically import your transactions, saving your tons of time. Once your account are connected, you will see them listed on the left hand side. You can customize the names of your account to make them easier to identify. For example, you can rename checking account 1234 to someone like main checking and that's it. Your Quicken setup is complete. Now let's move on to the fun part using Quicken to manage your money. Right? Now before we dive into the features, let's take a quick tour of the interface at the top usually you will see tabs like on the left side home spending bills budget and investment right now this is really important because these tabs are your gateway to different tools and report on the left you will see account layers which includes all the account you're connected the center of the screen is where you will see your transaction budgets and report at the bottom you will find the toolbar which has shortcut for adding transaction reconciling accounts and running reports take a moment to explore the interface and get comfortable with where everything is once you're ready let's start tracking your spending one of quick and most powerful feature is to ability to track your spending to see your transaction click on spending tab here you will see a list of your transactions to and uh, quick and automatically categorize your transaction but you can edit these categories if needed for example, if you can categorize a coffee purchase as a dining, but you want it to be a coffee shop, simply click on the category and change it. 
You can also create custom categories by going tools and categories list. This is great if you want to track specific expenses like gym membership or streaming services. To get a better understanding of your spending habit, check out the spending reports. This reports break down your expenses by category so you can see exactly where your money is going. Now that you're tracking your spending, let's create a budget. Click on budget tab and then click create a budget. Quicken will suggest a budget based on your past spending, but you can customize it to your fit your goal. For example, if you want to spend less on dining out, simply adjust the amount of the category. You can also set up monthly goals for things like saving for vacation or paying off debt. Quicken will track your progress and let you know if you're on the track. Once your budget is set up, you will see a visual representation of your spending versus your budget. This makes it easy to see where you might need to cut back. Remember, a budget is a living document. Don't be afraid to adjust it as your financial situation changes. Now let's talk about billing, bills and investment. Click on this bills tab to see your upcoming bills and income. You can add bills manually or connect your below to Quicken for automatic update. This feature is game changer because it helps you avoid late fee and ensure you never miss any kind of payment. If you have investment, head over to the investment tab. Here you can track your portfolio, view performance report and even get insight into your asset collection. Quick and make it easy to stay on top of your financial goal, whether it's paying bill or time or growing your investment. And that's it, you are now ready to take control of your quick and with your finances. We have covered everything from setting up account to tracking spending, create a budget and managing bills and investment. Thanks for watching this video.